By now, you should know how I feel about falling winter menswear. If you don't, I really love it, man. I love the top coats. I love my flannel suits. I love wearing a scarf. Love wearing gloves. Love my wool chalice and ancient matter ties. But one thing about a falling winter wardrobe that's very underrated are the pocket squares. So in this video, we're gonna talk about my falling winter pocket square collection. Intro. <laughs> Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com. First thing first is how I store my pocket squares. I keep them in a vase. I feel like it's better that way. It's like a see-through vase. I can see everything that's in there. Plus, I don't like when they're folded all nicely the way that I had them in the drawer. I don't want them to retain the crease memory when they're all folded up. So I'd rather have them in a vase. A, they're see-through. B, I just take them off and I throw them in there. I don't have to worry about folding them. We're not really gonna do them in order. I'm just gonna stick my head in the vase and whatever comes out, comes out. I'll tell you a little bit of a background about each pocket square. I've had a couple people ask me from back when I did my first pocket square video where I showed you how to complement your tie in pocket square. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere up here. I also include it in the description. People have been asking me to show the collection, so here it is. First thing first is this one. This one is from Drake's. That's going to be the common theme of this video. Most of my pocket squares happen to be from Drake's. This one is a red background with a green background in the center. It has a few different colors. The more colors, the better, because that way you can pair with more ties. Um, but this one has some yellows. You can see a yellow tiger here. It has some purple, has some blues, and has some green. So this is number one. Next one is a red pocket square with some birds on it. It's mostly a red pocket square with some yellow accents. It also does have some light purple accents and a little bit of brown and a tiny bit of green. But for the most part, this is a red pocket square with a little bit of yellow on the borders. This pocket square is from a brand that's no longer with us called Monsieur Fox. Monsieur Fox used to be a brand that used to make accessories like ties and pocket squares. So yeah, that's who this is from. The next one is a blue pocket square. I really like this pocket square because it has so many different colors. There are some browns, some yellows, some burgundy, some purples, some green, two different shades of green. So this pocket square can go with a lot of different ties. It's also from Drake's. You wouldn't want to wear this pocket square if you're wearing like a blue suit. But besides that, man, this pocket square is a go. Next one. This one is also from Drake's, I believe. Let me just double check. This one Drake's? Yeah, this one's from Drake's. This one, the background is like a navy blue and it has some orange flowers, yellow flowers, red flowers, some green, it has some birds that are green with yellow and blue. And once again, that's something that you're going to find in most of my pocket squares is that they all come in many different colors. The more colors a pocket square has, the easier it is to pair it with ties. So this is that one. The next one is this one. This one is a yellow background pocket square. It also has some green, it has some burgundy, it has some blue, also has some purple. This pocket square is from Olaf 1982. They did discontinue their pocket squares. I don't think they're making them anymore. Olaf is a dude from Europe, a very sharp dude I might add, that makes some really, that made some really nice pocket squares. Uh, it's too bad that they're no longer making them, but this is where this pocket square is from. Really nice pocket squares, man, one of my favorites. Next one is also from Muncie Fox. This pocket square is one of the first pocket squares that I got. I couldn't even really tell you which one is the main color of this pocket square because it comes in so many different colors. But as you can see, there's some brown, some purple, some kind of orange, some yellow, some green. It's just a really nice pocket square, man. There's really no motives on it. Like, it's not really like anything in particular. It's just a really nice design. And this pocket square goes with a lot of different ties and you can pretty much wear it with any suit color. Next pocket square is this one. This one is from Drake's also. This one is more of a, actually I don't even know what color this background is. It looks like it's like a dog, like a 
gray background, I would say. It has some orange figurine, some purple, some green. The border is orange. And this packet square goes with a lot of different ties too. As you can see, when you fold it, it looks like this. And you can see all the different colors. Really nice packet square, man. Next one. This is one of my favorite pocket squares. And this one is from Olaf 1982 as well. This pocket square was probably the first thing that I got for free when I started YouTube. I had reached out to Olaf. I told him that I was a big fan and he sent me this pocket square for free. Uh, this is a great pocket square. It's very understated. It doesn't have as many colors as the rest of the pocket squares. It's mostly green and the orange in the center. It has some dark greens also on the borders. But when you fold it, and you can have it like this to where both the green and the orange show. So this is a really nice pocket square, man. Once again, Olaf 1982, to me, that was the best one. And the next one, this one is also a pocket square similar to one of the ones prior that doesn't have any kind of design really. It just has some squares and some circles. This one is from Bergen Berg. Actually, I need to wear this pocket square more, man. This is a really nice pocket square. When you fold it, you can see all the different colors. It's mostly a burgundy pocket square. It does have brown, blue, yellow, and green. Uh, we're getting towards the end. This one also from Monsieur Fox. I remember really, really wanting this pocket square bad when it first came out. It has some elephants, has some boats, some guy looked like he's riding an ostrich. This is a really nice pocket square, man. The border is blue. It has some purple. It has some yellow. It's mostly a red pocket square, but it does have some nice accents. But this is a really nice pocket square and I'm gonna start wearing it more when I remember. Last but not least, this is another pocket square. This pocket square is from the Nottery. The Nottery is a brand out of New York City. This one is a navy background and the border is like a red. It has some yellow accents, some orange accents, a little bit of blue. You fold it in a way where you can show both the red and the blue. So it looks like this. And uh, yeah, man, so that's my fall and winter pocket square collection. Yeah, I have one more actually, the one that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Almost forgot about that one. This pocket square is one of my favorites. And that's because if you look at my pocket square, most of them, half of them at least, are from Drake's. This was the first one that I actually received from Drake's. And it was a Christmas gift from my wife many, many years ago. It's a pocket square with a green background, but it has many different colors. It has some purple, it has some yellow, it has some blues, it has some browns. So this is a really nice pocket square, man. So this is the one that kind of started my obsession with pocket squares, really. Before, I used to only wear white pocket squares, and then this is not the first one that I got on my colorful pocket square, but this one is one of the first one, and definitely the first one from Drake's. This is what it looks like when it's folded. And yeah, man, so this is my fall and winter pocket square collection. Eventually, I'll make a video on my spring and summer pocket square collection. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater and I'll catch you in the next video Peace By now you should know how I feel about falling with I love my top coats, but one part about them When they're in the drawer so Cool it down, Phoenix. I don't want them to.